Hey, happy, 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 beautiful, amazing day. Dr. Bob Burkowski here out of Houston, Texas. May 1 of 2020 with a SARS-CoV-2 science and fact update. You know, I show this picture from the movie A Few Good Men, and it was such a powerful scene. You know, Jack Nicholson is a general on the stand, and people are asking for truth, and, and he basically screams at them, you want truth? You can't handle the truth. Well, I wonder if some of that's going on in this circumstance, because, you know, you try to find the truth and it's getting harder and harder. And I'll share with you what I mean. So very, very fortunately, after a lot of digging, I found this uh, article in USA Today. Now, why do I say a lot of digging? Because believe it or not, uh, I'll show data, but the deaths in the U.S. are starting to get harder and harder to find except for those that they want to call COVID deaths. So I want you to look at this. If you haven't done much graphical analysis, this was basically the death rate as it was cooking along after January 18th and through about February 9th. You can see that's a fairly straight line. And then suddenly, I don't know why, but deaths started going down, 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 down. No one was reporting any deaths. To me, that seems very unique. Uh, and then suddenly, somewhere around March, the COVID deaths started going up, up, up. So let's take a look at a little bit of graphic analysis. So if deaths were continuing on their uh, regular trend, this would have been the area that represented the projected deaths. So through the, you know, not a great artist, but I drew my little uh, lines to match it as best I could. And you'll see that. Uh, there. And then I also did the same thing for the COVID deaths. And by the way, notice I was more generous uh, with the COVID deaths, right? I wanted to err on the side of generous. Then when I go ahead and superimpose those COVID deaths right there on projected deaths right there, you'll see that we're down, according to that, a lot of deaths, a lot of deaths. Kind of fascinating, isn't it? So we go to world data. Uh, and at the end of 2019, the projected death rate was 7.579 per 1,000 people. Notice there looks like there was a little up trend that predicted for 2020. And that's, by the way, is global. A, glo a global uptrend, US uptrend, etc. cetera. Uh, then we look at world population from Worldometer. And uh, so I snapshot this through April 30th, right? Because we, we don't have May Wong in the books yet. What was the population? 7.78 billion people, 121 days in through this year. We have the fraction of the year. We have the death rate. Projected deaths to date, about 520,000 actual, sorry, 19,525,000. Actual deaths, 19,535,000, a difference of 10,000. Looks like we have 10,000 more deaths over projection at 2019 projection. Uh, 2020 projection, we're probably under uh, the projected death rate. So why is it getting hard to find the stats? Well, uslivestats.com, for whatever reason, has been down now for days. I sent him an email. I said, hey, what's going on here? Why are we not getting updates? I'm still waiting on the reply. But US Live Stats, you can look it up, right? uslivestats.com. And here's what it says. It's part of a real-time statistics project they also manage worldometers in 7 billion world. Well, if you look at worldometers, you know, they're constantly updating. It is a live update. What about US live stats? No, that site is down. So why are we not seeing the US stats? Why is the US saying that we have more COVID deaths than anywhere in the world? Why is it concentrated around New York? Now, some people might say, well, because it's our biggest city. Hey, it's smaller than London and they have a fraction of the deaths. And in fact, it's smaller than a lot of cities. Uh, why is New York hit so hard? Maybe there's something not quite right about the way they're tracking the data. Now, I wanna be very, very clear. This is a bad virus. It is especially bad for the weak, frail, elderly. Uh, I shared the data from Boston. The average death was 81 years old. How about Italy? The average death, 79.5. Hey, both of those numbers, 81 and 79.5,
are above the U.S. average life expectancy. So these people were likely on their way out. We also shared data about prison. 96% of prisoners in four states that tested positive didn't have any symptoms. So you want the truth? Can you handle the truth? Well, you may have to dig for the truth because somehow, some way, it's not being readily shared. Took a long time to find this this morning. Uh, I, I feel like it's worth digging for. I really do, because I do believe, and actually, let's even go past that. I know in my heart that the truth shall set you free. I'm Dr. Bob Rakowski, absolutely knowing that we can all be happy, healthy, and successful.